The 1987–1989 Tibetan unrest were a series of pro-independence protests that took place between September 1987 and March 1989 in the Tibetan areas in the People's Republic of China, Sichuan, Tibet Autonomous Region and Qinghai, and the Tibetan prefectures in Yunnan and Gansu. The largest demonstrations began on March 5, 1989 in the Tibetan capital of Lhasa, when a group of monks, nuns, and laypeople took to the streets as the 30th anniversary of the 1959 Tibetan uprising approached. Police and security officers attempted to put down the protests, but as tensions escalated an even greater crowd of protesters amassed. After three days of violence, martial law was declared on March 8, 1989, and foreign journalists and tourists were expelled from Tibet on March 10. Reports of deaths and military force being used against protesters were prominent. Numbers of the dead are unknown. Timeline 1987 September 27 — A demonstration in Lhasa was broken up on the first day by Chinese authorities. This night was reported as the ''Black Night''. October 1 — Riots took place in Lhasa. Six people died, including a monk from the Sara Monastery, and two other Tibetans were injured. According to the official New China News Agency, rioters tried to snatch guns from policemen and 19 policemen were hurt during the conflict. The demonstrators stoned the police and set a police station a fire near Jokhang Temple, and police fired into the crowd. 1988 March 5 — A revolt took place at the celebration of the Great Prayer, Monlam Prayer Festival. The riots cost the lives of three persons according to Chinese sources, 30 according to the Tibetan opposition. June. The Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyatso, altered his demands to the Chinese government. In his speech at the European Parliament on June 15, 1988, the Dalai Lama proposed a solution for Tibet, in association with the People's Republic of China. December 10 — Further riots in Lhasa. According to official sources one person died, unofficial sources spoke of 12. 1989. January 19 — Sentences were pronounced in consequence of the arrests made during the riots of 1988 with deterrent harshness. The sentences ranged from three years imprisonment to the death penalty with delay of execution. January 28 — The death of the Panchen Lama of Tibet, the second authority after the Dalai Lama. The Chinese government took initiative to search for his successor reincarnation. Tibetans attributed the death to murder by Chinese authorities and were concerned about the unprecedented interference in a centuries-old tradition of succession. February 6 — Riots around Monlam and the Tibetan New Year Losar. Chinese authorities cancelled the celebration of Monlam Chinmo, which precedes Losar each year. Losar took place in 1989 on February 7. March 5 — A religious event ended in a massacre. Official sources speak of 11 deaths and 100 wounded. The occasion for the massacre, according to Chinese sources, was the stoning of a Chinese police officer. Tibetan sources claim that the event was attacked by the Chinese police. March 6 Riots spread to the center of Lhasa. Chinese stores were wrecked, and as a result, a state of emergency was called. This enlarged the power of Chinese authorities. March 7 All foreigners, including journalists, were evacuated. This signified an end to the provision of information to the rest of the world on the riots. Five people died in two days according to official sources. However, Tang Daxian, a former Chinese journalist present in Lhasa during that period, claims 387 civilians plus 82 religious people have been killed, and 721 people have been injured, according to a report he saw from Public Security Bureau. April 15, China's former secretary general until 1987, Hu Yaobang died. Hu was a supporter of the withdrawal of the Chinese army from Tibet and his death led to a student protest in Beijing. The Tiananmen Square protests a few months later on June 4, 1989, was crushed. Topic: See also Incorporation of Tibet into the People's Republic of China 
1959 Tibetan Uprising 2008 Tibetan Unrest Sinicization of Tibet References Further reading Shakia, Sering Wangdu The Dragon in the Land of Snows, A History of Modern Tibet Since 1947. Penguin. ISBN 0-14-019615-3. Sperling, Elliot The Tibet–China Conflict, History and Polemics Washington, East-West Center. ISBN 1-932728-13-9. ISSN 1547-1330. Archived PDF from the original on 19 August 2008. Retrieved 14 August 2008. Online version Carlson, Allen Beijing's Tibet Policy, Securing Sovereignty and Legitimacy PDF. Washington, East-West Center. ISBN 1-932728-07-4. Retrieved 14 August 2008. Online version External links Chronology Oriente, Tibet 1987–1993 in French Essay, The Tibetans by Robert Barnett Thunder from Tibet by Robert Barnett Account of 1987 riot in Lhasa